Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with your daily crypto news and analysis. Today, we will talk about Ripple and XRP, along with most other crypto and money topics. All of that being said, let's begin. That's it, Binance just said something important with the DOJ. Since I'll be working hard on fixing up this new house all day, I'm recording this a little earlier in the day. Please forgive my being late to the party. But we will take care of a few things to make Shannon's great crypto, as seen in the DOJ deal, official and open to everyone. This was the last cloud that was high above the bulls' heads, and it had just gone away. The bulls were finally scared off by this, and there is a $4.3 billion settlement because Nance agreed to his takeover and is leaving the job. This is a very important trigger. Listen up, we have a lot of triggers. I just retweeted Ryan Salukas's tweet, and Nance is right that de-risking is one of the most important things we could have in crypto. Cryptocurrency has become a real business since the $4 billion deal. Sees kneels down in front of the Miami holiday market, blasts higher ATFs that were allowed by the GOP in January, wins the 2024 election, and crypto legislation is passed. There's a lot going on. At the end of the day, there's lots to look forward to. We're going to talk about cryptocurrency now. Standards, rules, adoption, and utility as a main focus are all heating up. It seems like everything is coming together at the right time, and the market is maturing. Help me say it. Yes, this market is getting more mature, and many of the big scams are starting to leave it. Yes, rules must keep coming into the space in order to really clean it up. That's what will happen, though. The events are happening now and going very quickly. On top of that, we know that plans are being made to finish the global regulatory frameworks by the end of 2025. This could be the last public bid bull run before there are real rules. There's no time like the present to waste time and miss the big crypto trend. Now, I'd like to draw your attention to two videos that Black Swan Capitalist posted on X. In them, the market shooter just dropped a bombshell, central banks have built all the financial barriers on purpose to keep the middle class out of the future crypto bull market. Look at this. If you want to clear someone out, you don't want them to make money. So you make their lives very hard financially first so that when the expected bull market comes along, few individuals are involved and the corporatocracy is the main player and creator of the token. That is, the very rich. Since they own all the debt, the world's trillionaires won't let their wealth drop to $10 million just because the debt markets are falling. They made the new system and hold the most shares in it. They are going to both put more money into it and take money out of it. So, it will be directly related, and they will be able to keep and grow their wealth. This will lead to more serfdom and the hollowing out of the middle. In this crypto bull market, that's the choice most people will have to make. They won't have enough skin in the game. Not enough money has been made. They've had. Interest rates crush them. They are not what you want. I read the comments on my vids all the time, so you know this is true. How are we going to get a bull run? There is no money to waste on cryptocurrency until it can be bought in stores. That is the issue. People don't need to be afraid of missing out in this market for it to go up people have been trying to short Bitcoin since it first rose to $38, which has only made things worse. On the other hand, there is institutional attention and institutional adoption. The most Max Payne-like thing that could happen right now is for the middle class to do nothing and not invest in cryptocurrency. That's why you need to be placed. Before the next big move, you need to be set up. This is what I've said about FTX since 2022. As I said before, huge changes are happening right now. With what we've learned over the last year, now is the time to move forward. There is now more of it. Crypto has given us amazing results. The coming crypto bull run, on the other hand, will mean a huge move of wealth. Some people are already there. This is the same movie that Black Swan Capitalist shared, but this one comes from Vendel. But it's true that we're about to see something really amazing. But what will happen to the rules? 
Steve and Mary started by giving us some background on what's going on. The next version of Bitcoin. The new start crypto claimed that everyone would be able to make a lot of money in a way that the establishment couldn't control. Reality, a huge amount of money is taken from the people and used by the system to control the people. Corona lost a vast amount of money through theft. In order for crypto to live up to its original promise, this evil must be removed and it must start over. This is going to be Internet Money 2.0. Now, many people might think about this and say, wow, that's bad. However, this is the truth. Big names are getting into crypto, blockchain, and DLT as if crypto 2.0 were about to happen. Why do you think this is? This market as a whole will be cleaned up, and it will happen. All of this will happen because of rules and regulations. Someone also replied to Stephen. It can't be started up again. More than 10 years have passed since it was first used. On the other hand, you can change your attitude. What does Steven seem like to you? In short, you can make a rough link. As you may remember, Google was the leader in search before we came along. With so many companies competing for market share, Google came up with a whole new way to do things and restarted it. The same thing happened with markets until eBay changed how it did things. It's not a perfect comparison, and they weren't ideological by nature. Instead, they were about technology and features. Because of network effects, if there is one steady blockchain that sticks to the idea of crypto, the others might be sent to zombie currency land. Now, let's walk back over here and look at a few more answers. Is there any hope, foresight, or soul left in our social and economic market to choose a go-slow intentional ideology-based option to a most sure centralized altcoin? Not at all. What is crypto and how to steer it? Boatlack was mostly just a face. No one in the crypto world ever checked to see if before Sam Altman brought AI to the public's attention. It doesn't take long for a loan to become the face of social media. Zuckerberg has never been good at being in charge. He is more like the people we have now in that he only cares about himself and doesn't question the current quote to help anyone. Real leaders care more about the business world, and they will rise if they make things better for everyone. I see existential danger, which I don't want to see, because of what many of us know. But if parts of crypto destroy themselves, a boss might show up. I'm not sure how much they can do right now, though. Then, of course, the Brad Garland mansion comes up. Some people don't like the business path, but he's been down it and come up with trumps. Of course, Ripple is the most honest and professional cryptocurrency business. You heard what I had to say about the recording that will be played again in 2015. Besides that, I've talked about them a lot in public. Allow us to now look at Ripple and XRP as money. Listen, these are the main people and the main company behind what's going on here. It's pretty interesting. For those who got to the party late and missed it. Crypto 2.0 is what we see. Which is the reboot, we can see that it hides all the fluff and brings out the main benefit. Now everything.